We are going to do a solar panel comparison to figure out which one is the best option for you. For you. In front of me are all three types of panels, including the 110 watt portable panel, 100 watt flexible panel, and the 100 watt rigid panel. All three panels have the same cell type, made of monocrystalline silicone. The rigid and flexible panels each have 30 cells, while the portable panel has 32 cells because there's eight cells in each fold. Because of the extra two cells in the portable panel, it will slightly increase wattage and voltage compared to the other two, but overall they're roughly about the same. As far as power goes, the maximum operating voltage is 18.4 volt or six amps on the portable. And on both the rigid and the flexible panel, it's 17.1 volts or 5.9 amps. All three panels are also around the same efficiency rating, which is around 23%. Additionally, the open circuit voltage or the VOC is 21.8 volts on the portable and 20.3 volts on the other two models. The short circuit current or the ISC is 6.5 amps on the portable while it's 6.3 on the rigid and the flexible. One of the biggest differences between each of the models is the size and weight. So now let's check it out. So let's start with the smallest and lightest one, the flexible model. We are coming in 5.1 or so. And next we will do the portable model. Without the case, we have around 8.8, .8, so around nine pounds. And now we'll try it with the carrying case, about 11 pounds. And last but not least, let's test out the rigid panel. And it looks like it's right at about 13 and a half pounds. So as you can see, big weight difference between each model. What are some important use cases and things to consider when trying to choose between each model? If you're seeking something to power your small devices or take on the go with you, the portable panel lineup is the way to go. They're rugged, waterproof, and they fold up into a small carrying bag to take with you on the go. It is also compatible with our River and Delta series, and when paired with the River 2, it is the perfect combination for life on the move. The ideal situations are for camping, road trips, and RV life when permanent fixtures are not ideal. If on the go is not what you're looking for, the flexible are bendy and flexible like this, and the rigid are hard, and immovable. The flexible panels are made with a combination of monocrystalline cells and laminate, allowing them to bend up to 258 degrees. This means that they can mold into any curved, angled, or irregular shaped surfaces. It makes these panels ideal for boats, RVs, or roofs or surfaces that don't have the available flat space uh, to accommodate the mounting system needed for the rigid panels. The flexible panels are also much easier to install. Because they're lighter weight and moldable, they don't necessarily require any drilling, so you can install them with industrial adhesives or VHB tape. Typically, the flexible option is best suited for mobile or temporary applications, while the rigid panels are used for permanent applications. And speaking of the rigid panels, designed for large flat surfaces, the rigid panels are king when it comes to permanent roof and RV scenarios. The rigid panels are constructed with an anodized aluminum frame and durable tempered glass. This allows the light to come through while protecting the photovoltaic cells inside. They're tough, durable, long lasting, and can withstand weather conditions such as rain, snow, and wind. Comparing the two, the flexible panels will last up to five to 15 years, while the rigid panels will last up to 25 to 40 years under normal conditions. Yes, the rigid panels are more durable, but that also means that they're thick, heavier, and much less portable than these two options. They're also more difficult to install, requiring like mounting brackets, specific installation methods. So depending on your level of experience, we recommend that you may even need a solar installation expert to come out and help you mount them to your place. All three panels have the same connector type, which is the MC4 connector. And to connect to your device, all you have to do is connect the uh, red to red and black to black and plug into the rear of your device. A few things to keep in mind about selecting a location for solar charging is making sure that you have a direct line to the sun and that there are no obstructions or shade. If your panel is in the shade and obstructed, your efficiency will suffer and you will not maximize your panel's output. For the sake of this test, we're gonna line them up all the same so that we can get the same test results. So as you can see, the portable panel is inputting about 70 to 75 watts. And the flexible panel is right at 75 to 77 watts. And the rigid panel is dead on at 76 watts. If you're interested in more tips about how to properly set up your system and how to maximize your power output, click the link right here for another video and some more info. We also offer larger wattage panels in both the portable and rigid platforms all the way up to 400 watts. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Until next time.